Hey guys, welcome to another sit down video. So today's topic is gonna be about the differences between New Zealand and UAE, United Arab Emirates. I'm not sure if differences is the correct term for this video because you really can't compare the two countries because they are totally different. Every country has its pros and cons and that also depends in your own preferences. So I just want to make this video for my fellow colleagues back in UAE who are having second thoughts. Hindi pa sila masyadong sure kung okay ba na lumipat talaga dito sa New Zealand. Well, it really depends sa ating preferences and sa long-term goal natin. So I think I've mentioned way back in one of my videos na if you want to go back to the Philippines and maybe have a business there, then definitely Dubai is okay. Pero if you are thinking of migrating and living permanently overseas, it might be difficult to do that in Dubai. So if you want to migrate and have plans of being a citizen, mas okay na lumipat dito sa New Zealand. I know it's really difficult once you are in your comfort zone and a lot of people back in Dubai I think ako din na parang nakatakot na naman lumipat sa ibang lugar kasi syempre back to zero na naman and wala tayong idea kung ano ba talaga ang meron dito sa New Zealand so yeah this video is for you guys if you're interested please keep on watching so just a quick background, we've been living in UAE for I think 8 years. Me and my husband are both nurses and this is our own experience. Pumunta ako dito sa New Zealand, I think, um, anong year ngayon? <laughs> 2022. So pumunta ako sa New Zealand 2020 and 2 years, magto 2 years na ako dito. I think, yeah, nag 2 years na ako this March. So time flies so fast. So this is just our own experiences and gusto ko lang share sa inyo kung ano yung mga must know before coming here and making your decision na mag-migrate dito sa New Zealand. Yeah, we'll start. So the first one is housing. Sa UAE, medyo naswerdahan kami because my husband was working in a government hospital and they gave him a free accommodation. Free accommodation means binigyan siya ng budget yearly. So, bahala na siyang maghanap ng bahay kung saan niya gusto. And, yeah. So, libre yung bahay namin. Nagbigay din sila ng furniture allowance. Na-mention ko yun sa ibang videos ko. Please check that out. Long story short, free ang housing namin sa UAE. Kaya medyo nagtagal din kami doon. So, now, if you don't have a free accommodation sa UAE, our flat that was two bedroom, three bath, and sobrang laki ng lounge. That was 49,000 dirhams per year. So, which is almost 500 New Zealand dollars per week. Kasi dito ang bayaran sa New Zealand is per week. Kaya ipa per week natin. So 49,000 dirhams per year is almost 500 New Zealand dollars per week. Almost same na rin yung price dito. Kasi depende actually kung saan ka nakatira. Mas mura pag nasa South Island ka or medyo liblib na lugar dito sa Auckland. Medyo mahal ang rent. So the houses will range from 400 to 800 or even 900 depende ang sa location mo and sa bahay. Kasi yung iba medyo maluma na, yung iba bago. So you buy with furniture, unfurnished, so it all depends on that. And share ko lang, yung paghanap ng bahay dito sa New Zealand was very, very difficult comparing sa paghanap namin ng bahay sa Dubai. So sa bahay sa Dubai, I think first come first serve. So nakapili pa kami, nasa flat kami nun. So pumili pa kami ng rooms, ano ang magandang view, saan ang magandang parang location ng kwarto or whatever. So yeah, nakapili pa kami doon and walang pa kami kami. Pumili lang kami and yun na, amin na yung um, flat na yun. But here, you have to, well this is just in my experience, 
para mag apply ka pa. Tapos, ang dami pang hihingin sa'yo na mga paperwork and all. Proofs na may work ka. And, um, I think last two years mo na na past tenancy, parang gano'n. Try akong mag-viewing sa isang flat din siya. Akala ko ako lang mag-viewing. Siguro mga lima kaming nag-viewing. So, first day pa lang yun ng viewing. And my second day pa. So, ang dami namin naglalaban for that. And for me, medyo mahirap kasi kaka one year ko pa lang dito sa New Zealand. And, yeah. <laughs> Room lang yung nire-rent ko. Wala akong past tenancy contract to prove na gano'n nga. So, medyo nahirapan ako doon. Decline na ako sa flat na in-applyan ko noon. So, medyo nag na rin ako kasi after a week, lalabas na ng MIQ sila, Jerry and Isa. So, kailangan ko na talaga kumuha ng bahay. Naswertihan lang ako sa bahay na to na ako agad yung napili niya. So, sa housing, I guess, UAE wins. Kasi kung price ang babasihan, almost the same. Pero, kung sa pagkuha ng flat, mas madali ang UAE. So, looking for your house, na-mention ko na kanina, UAE first come, first serve sa New Zealand. Na-mention ko na rin kung paano yung naging experience ko. So, nahirapan talaga ako noon. Kung nag-start pa lang kayo, parang mahirap i-prove yung sarili nyo, ba diba, na kaya kong magbayad. Pero, yun nga, um, mahirap talaga siya, pahirapan. Ang dami yung applicants and isa lang yung pipiliin. Medyo strict din sila kasi yung ibang bahay, bawal ang pets. Yung ibang bahay, ayaw nang may bata. So, may lalagay yung anak mo, ba diba? And kung gusto nyo magtipid, meron dito parang studio flat and meron din parang granny flat naman yung tawag nila dito. So, parang maliit siyang bahay and one bedroom, ganun. Pero, stricto din kasi sila dito kung ilang tao ang titira sa bahay. So, for me, at first, I was looking for a granny flat kasi gusto kong magtipid sa bahay kasi sobrang mahal ng bahay dito. But then again, maximum of two working people lang ang pwede sa granny flat. So, doon ako medyo na-off kasi tatlo kami and ayaw nila ng may bata. So, yeah, medyo nahirapan talaga ako nun. Moving on. Nababad trip lang ako pag naiisip ko siya. So, next one is utilities. Power and water bill sa amin sa Sharjah kami nakatira. So, sewa. Our sewa monthly is around 800 dirhams. I'm not sure anymore. Pero, parang ganun. So, let's say that is summer. Kasi mas mahal ang summer. Mas mahal ang kuryente during summer because always on yung AC. So, siguro pag hindi summer, 500, 600. And, sabi nila, depende rin daw to sa building. So, yeah, depende din talaga. Ang power bill naman dito sa New Zealand is 100 to 120 New Zealand dollars. Medyo, mas mura siya compared sa UAE. And, malamig dito. So, hindi uso yung aircon sa lahat ng bahay. Actually, ito, wala naman itong aircon dito. Walang AC. Mostly sa kanila may heat pump. So, kasi pag winter, wala talagang nagbubukas ng aircon kasi sobrang lamig. Nag-heater pa nga sila. Yun yung mag dito. Heater, hindi AC. So, baliktad sa UAE. So, pag winter dito, ang mahal na kuryente because of the heater. Pero, usually, ang aming bill is 100 to 120 New Zealand dollars. That is monthly. So, medyo tipid kasi itong bahay na nakuha ko is um, double glazed and medyo warm siya. So, hindi kami nag-heater. Um, paminsan-minsan lang. Pero, if ever mapunta kayo sa bahay na medyo luma tapos hindi properly insulated yung bahay, malamig talaga. So, may tendency na mas lalaki yung kuryente nyo because of the use of the heater. So, sa water bill, nakasama na pala dun sa sewa yung water bill. So, around 500 to 900 depende sa usage. Dito, nakahiwalay siya sa currently where I'm staying. Nakahiwalay siya. Here in Auckland, usually 50 to 80 dollars per month. So, depende rin sa usage. So, in some places here in New Zealand, free ang water. So, I think in Christchurch, free siya. So, you don't have to pay for the water which is so good. So, for the utilities, I think New Zealand wins on this one. Now, third is grocery. So, Compare natin to sa family of three. 
So, tatlo lang kami. And, of course, si Isabella is a four-year-old kid. And, hindi pa siya ganun kalakas kumain. Sa UAE, ang budget ko per month is 1,600 dirhams per month. I'm Isabella. So, ang budget namin sa New Zealand, hindi ko pa masyadong natatansya kung dapat magkano kasi minsan na short talaga ako pero ang pina-target ko talaga is 1000 New Zealand dollars per month. So that is double the price sa UAE. But it is no secret na sobrang mahal ng grocery dito sa New Zealand. For the grocery, UAE wins and sa choices sa brands na makikita niyo sa grocery, sobrang dami sa UAE kesa dito. Very limited ang kanilang brands dito. Mas madaming brands na tinatangkilik um, from their own country here in sa Australia. Hindi masyado from US which is madami sa UAE. So yeah, I think for the grocery, UAE wins. So sa tax, of course, UAE is well known for its tax-free salary. And here in New Zealand, tax is quite high. And yeah, the higher your salary, mas malaki din yung tax mo. And kung parang yearly bonus kayo, which is malaki, malaki din yung tax mo. So for sure, I guess it's clear UAE wins this part. So sa mall, well, UAE has the largest mall in the whole world which is Dubai Mall and miss ko na siya. Of course, lots of brands in there. Here, no unang pagpunta ko, medyo sabi ko, anong brand yun? Hindi ko alam yung mga brands dito. Which is siguro brands talaga nila dito or sa Australia and hindi ako masyado pang familiar sa mga brands nila. So, if you are looking for malls and a lot of brands, definitely UAE. So, sa nightlife, well, hindi ako masyadong ma-nightlife. And hindi rin ako nakapag-try sa Dubai and dito mag-nightlife. Pero kung yun, alcoholic drinks or yun, shot-shot, mas madami talaga dito. Kasi syempre, um, Muslim country ang Dubai. So, very limited lang yung may mga alak na bars. And dito, almost everywhere parang kabute siya na may inuman talaga and even lunch time may umiinom na so ganun ka open so next one is nature of course i think new zealand is gonna be the winner for this one sobrang ganda ng new zealand if you love nature dati hindi kami mo park kasi nga syempre sa dubai sobrang init so hindi ka talaga makakatagal sa park pero dito sobrang relaxing niya kahit konting lakad lang from our house meron dito parang mga um, walkway or yung trails na lalakarin niyo na parang gubat and all sobrang ganda and yeah exercise na rin siya and sobrang relaxing so if you will notice a lot of people here are enjoying a lot of outdoor activities kasi madami silang magandang outdoor activities na pwedeng gawin. Next one is about work. So, for UAE, for me, 8 hours ako nag-work and I was working in an OPD setup sa, sa hospital. So, it might differ kasi yung asawa ko, he was working in a psychiatric hospital sa ER nila. So, 12 hours din siya minsan. So, depende siguro kung saan yung work nyo. Pero, yeah, for me, 8 hours ako and then one day off lang. So, Fridays lang. Which is parang sa akin kulang pa. Kasi kung may family ka, syempre, kailangan nyo rin mag-family time. Gagala pa kayo, mag-grocery pa kayo, maglalaba ka pa, mag-aayos ka pa ng bahay. All in one day. So, parang kulang talaga siya. Dito sa New Zealand, 2 days off normally. So, 8 hours din yung shift ko ngayon, Monday to Friday, which I am so lucky and sobrang nagustuhan ko siya kasi hindi na ako sanay mag-night shift. So, kung tatanungin niyo ako kung may balak akong mag-hospital pa, I think wala na because I like what I'm doing now. I'm quite happy with what I do and okay naman ang compensation ko and na-appreciate ako ng mga boss. So, 
yeah, I think I'm quite happy. And Monday to Fridays, suwak ako sa oras ng school ni Isa, which is perfect. Kasi after school care is quite expensive here as well. And yeah, holidays are off, which kung sa hospital ka, may extra compensation kayo, which is good kasi syempre extra money din yun. Pero for me, medyo napagod na ako sa 8 years ko sa Dubai na nagtatrabaho ng holidays. So, parang sa akin, i-enjoy ko na lang yung family time and enjoying my offs. So, dito ko lang talaga na-feel yung work and life balance. They really value family time here, which is important for us. Kasi Isabella is growing up so fast and konting panahon na lang magdadalaga na yan and iba na ang pag-iisip niyan, alam niyo na. So, we're just enjoying that moment with her. Let's go back to the mall. So, sa mall pala, UAE wins. I told you that. And add ko lang kasi yung oras ng mall dito is like um, 10 to 6. That's it. Siguro mag-late night sila hanggang 7 Yun na yun. Sa Dubai, open sila hanggang 10, hanggang 12. So, yun ang big difference. Most of the shops here, yung parang isa-isa lang talaga na shops. Closed din sila ng Saturday, Sunday, and 9 to 5 lang din. So, office hours lang talaga almost lahat. Yun ang difference nila. Next one is looking for a job. So, sa UAE, you will have a contract. It is usually 2 to 3 years. And if you don't finish your contract, magkakaroon ka ng breach of contract. Which you'll have to pay your company or mababaan ka for a certain year. So, medyo nakatakot. Kasi kung hindi ka masaya sa job mo, you have no choice but to finish your contract. But here in New Zealand, anytime, kahit wala ka pang one year sa work mo and hindi ka masaya, mag-render ka lang ng one month notice mo or depende sa kontrata nyo, you're free to go. Hindi, walang breach of contract, walang ban-ban dito. So, May nakwento rin yung friend ko, kahit kakasahin mo pa lang ng kontrata tapos parang hindi ka pa nakakapag-join and then may bagong, may offer na mas malaki or mas nagustuhan niya or mas nagustuhan mo, pwede mong i-cancel na lang yung napirmahan mo na and dun ka sa gusto mo talaga. So, I think it's clear New Zealand wins this part. Last bit is for the kids. So, sa school, wala masyadong idea kasi baby pa lang si Isabella nun, but I was starting to ask how much yung kindy for her in United Arab Emirates. Yung, I think yung napagtanawan ko was around 16,000 dirhams. So, I can't quite remember if that is right. Pero, ma namahalan talaga ako nun. And parang, pang high school na sa Pilipinas yung tuition niya. Guys. So, here in New Zealand, um, actually, ito sa school lang to ni Isa. Six-month-old baby, kinikater na nila kasi madami ditong both parents are working. So, kikater din sila ng mga babies. And child care talaga siya. So, medyo mahal. But, once they are three years old above, meron ng free 20 hours from the government. So, mababawa siya ng parang 100 plus yung binabayaran mo. So that is in kindy. Um, five years old above, pwede na silang mag-join sa primary, which is free na by the government. Pero kung gusto mo silang ipasok sa isang private, which is your choice, syempre may payment na yun. Mostly ng mga schools dito, libre yung mga bata. And you have to pay for some donations and sa trips lang nila and yung mga uniforms, you have to pay for that. Pero yung tuition nila. We'll go back to child care. So, they have free 20 hours once they reach 3 years old, I think. So, for Isabella, dito sa school niya, medyo mahal. Kasi sa location namin. And may free lunch na sila, Isabella. Every Fridays lang ako nagbabaon sa kanya ng lunch para ma-practice sila kung ano yung gagawin nila sa primary. And ma-practice din kaming mga parents kung ano ipapakain sa kanila kasi sobrang hirap mag-isip. And may free na rin silang snacks. Um, morning tea and afternoon tea. So, green up ko na rin siya and open din sila during school holidays which is perfect kasi pag school holidays may pasok kami. So, another problem naman yun kasi yung ibang daycares hindi sila open. So, maghahanap ka pa ng magbabantay ng anak mo. Medyo 
matudoble ang gastos. So, mahal din actually ang daycare dito. But once they reach 3 years old, and especially pag primary na sila, which is 5 years old, sobrang mura na. So, that's clear. New Zealand wins sa school. So, yeah. Overall, I think it would really differ kung ano ang preferences natin. But for me, we wanted to migrate. We wanted a work and life balance. We saw New Zealand and we fell in love with the place. Sobrang ganda. And I love the cold weather. Ma magiging citizen kami dito in the long run. And for Isabella's future, masyado silang laid back dito, which is sobrang different from UAE. Basta sobrang simple nila dito. I will make another video about it. Kung ano yung mga napansin kung kakaiba dito. But I really love their laid back culture. So, yeah. I think for me, New Zealand was the right place to be. It was the right decision to make. And so far, na pag nakapag three years na kami dito, okay naman. Masaya naman kami. Are you happy? Yeah. That you're here in New Zealand? Do you like the place? Yeah. Mama? Hmm? Duke's coming here. Later. Huh? Later. Later, yay! No. So, yeah, it, it will really be different kung ano yung goals natin in life. Pero, if you really wanna come here and if you're in UAE and medyo naguguluhan pa kayo, I hope this will help clear some things and give you an idea of what is what. So that's it for today. That's our video. I hope you like it and I hope natulungan ko kayo kahit papano. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! I saw you something. Wait. This is my computer and how it works like like this and you're gonna touch something. You're gonna turn it on but it's a toy but you cannot do it. Kung mapapansin nyo yung unang vlogs ko, sobrang Tagalog pa si Isa yung paglabas nila sa MIQ. Pero, wala pang one year. English era na. Do you know how to speak Tagalog? No. You know, um, my friend Luke's gonna come here later. No, I don't think so. Yes, no. you said. No. Thank you, guys! Bye-bye.